sitting behind her. I'm kind of retarded. Hi, you must be new. In syphilis, the treatment is usually with penicillin. Cheers. Cheers, buddy. What's up, sluts? Welcome to episode 120 of the Great Boys of Large Podcast. I'm John, and that's Jerry. Are you slut shaming over here? No, I was welcoming him. Um, everyone's welcome. Freely? Free, yeah, free free and open. Uh, fair play. Whatever, ready, you know. Ready to go. Fid lays, it plays, you know. Uh-huh. Fiddler on the roof. Sure. Okay. Diddler. Diddler in my pants. <laughs> uh, yeah. Mm. Uh. <laughs> 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 it's a good start. <laughs> yeah. Off to a good start. Mm-hmm. Yeah, trying to get a little. Uh, How do you feel sexual. about diddling? <laughs> I don't feel about diddling. You pro? Um, or you pro diddle or? I like doing it to uh, someone that I love, and they love being diddled back. Shouts out, Miss Angie. <laughs> <laughs> it's always fun to diddle a little bit, you know. Yeah. Did you, you say know? a little boy? What? Yes. <laughs> You know what's fun to do? I don't know if you ever do this, but oh god, if you're um, I maybe I, maybe I've done it to you, but maybe like your girlfriend or even your friend, or uh-huh. it could be your mom even is walking up the stairs in front of you, mm-hmm. and you have your keys, and then you just kind of poke them in the butt a That's little a bit good when move. they're walking up. I don't know if you've ever done that with your keys <laughs> to me, but. <laughs> Should I try it though? Would yeah, you like I'd, it? I'd be open to it. Yeah, you just gotta be careful. Sometimes you go a little too hard, and then it just kind of hits their butthole. And turns them on. Turns them on. Well, hey man, cheers to uh, anal key play. Pair of some sluts. Mm. Oh yeah. Uh, oh, I got something to tell you. Huh? What is it? A guess. I think I told. I think maybe after the, we did the podcast last time, I told you I was just gonna get them. Got smart bulbs. Yeah, Ch- game changer, right? It's so cool. It's awesome. I, just, I want to tell and show everybody. Now. It's just a bulb. It's that fun. You can do all this stuff with. Yeah. So yeah, I, I hooked two of them up. Got one in the living room, one in the bedroom, and I have it hooked up with my Google Home Mini, mm-hmm. so I can just talk to it. Say, hey, turn the bedroom light. Yeah. Hey, turn the living room. Light. Oh, what? Why don't you dim that a little bit for me there? Oh, change it to a little bit warmer. It's a little hot. A little hot. Yeah. Just you, some wire I, on You it. feel like you're so powerful. Mm-hmm. Like, I feel like I've tapped into this technological, like, Mark, cavern yeah. that I've never, I didn't, it was right there all along. It was only, like, 12 bucks. Yeah, it's awesome. I love it. It's fun. Know. It's like, even if, like, even if you just use it a normal light, in the back of your mind, you're always, like, a lot of times I'll be watching a movie, and obviously I don't have the lights on during the day, mm-hmm. but, like, at night, I might just throw it on purple. Yeah. Just to be sassy <laughs> while I watch a movie. Yeah. You that, know. That, I was actually thinking of you because I watched a show last night with them for the first time that I had it set up in the living room. I was like, man, like, what what should I have this set to for the perfect lighting for mm-hmm. this? for this? And I, I went reading about it, and apparently, I don't know if you agree or disagree with this, but it was saying it depends on the actual thing being shown, like, to the lighting. I guess like some movies per are, scene. I I don't know if it's per scene or per per episode or per whatever. But whatever I was watching was like pretty bright, like kind of white like this. Mm-hmm. So it told. So I went with kind of a just a lower level white, and that's sure. Yeah, perfect you don't have you don't have color temperatures mixing. But do you want them to mix or does it matter? I would. I mean, I w- at least with my smart bulbs, yeah. like if you're on the color mode. They can't put out as much light. Mm-hmm. Um, if they're on like the light bulb mode where you can do warm or yeah. cool, then they put out way more light. Yeah. 
So, but then you can dim it, right? So if I was on those, I I'd, I guess I'd match it and put it on the same. But okay. if it's nighttime and it's on a movie, I can have like the purple or the red or whatever full tilt, and it's not going to affect it. Yeah, yeah. Like it okay. just doesn't have the throw. Doesn't have the power. Doesn't have the power. Mm-hmm. The freaking power. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, they're all they're so much fun, and they're like you said, they're yeah. inexpensive. And the ones I got because I got them. I got my first one a couple weeks ago, like a month ago, well, before yeah, we moved. I, you were so excited. And you see why now. <laughs> yeah. Because um, I was at uh, Harry Teets getting some grocery, and I was in the bulb aisle, or, you know, the electrical aisle. I can't remember what I was looking for, but then I, this nice black packaging caught mm. my eye. And you know how I can't look away from a nice black package. Yeah. And um, it's like smart bulb. The ones I got were Globe brand. Um. And I was like, oh, yeah, I've seen you know, smart bulbs on the old TikTok. Mm-hmm. I'm a young man. <laughs> I can have smart bulbs. So I'm looking at it, and it said the stat it gave was if you run it for three hours a day, it'll yeah. last like 13 point something years. Crazy. It's like, shit, man. Yeah. <laughs> shit, man. <laughs> I got to get that. So I did, and it's, it's a life fun. changer. Yeah, it's yeah awesome. it changes everything. It's just fun. Like, it is. You, just, you, you need light. So you, you have got to it. have it. You might as well do it in the most advanced way mm-hmm. possible, where it hardly costs any more money, and you can control it however you want to yeah. control it, whatever mood you're in. It's kind of like a mood ring that mm-hmm. you can just set for yourself. Can change your mood with your light. And you got to think too when like people are. I haven't tried it yet. I hadn't really used any of the colors. But if you're like sitting here at night and you got the colors going, and people drive by, they're probably like, "Man, this guy is probably pretty cool." Huh? Is, it, is that Diplo in there? <laughs> yeah, what's happening? Dead Mal Five. This guy parties. Go hang out with him. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Wow. That's pretty cool. Yeah, thing. that's really cool. You got PSA for uh, smart bulbs. Get them at your local grocery store, wanna, hardware store. Want to be a smart person? Get a smart bulb. That should be their slogan. Mm-hmm. That should be it. Simple. Don't you, be. Don't be dumb. Get smart. And you know what? You don't. I now. Now that I'm thinking about it, you never see commercials for, for smart bulbs because I think they just sell themselves. Yeah, they really do. It's yeah. a smart bulb. Hey, you, not much else you need to know yeah, about. It's it. like clothespins. You never see an ad for clothespins. Everybody's got them. I don't have it. And then you're an idiot. See, thank God you have a smart bulb. There's one smart thing in your freaking house. <laughs> Dumbass piece of shit. I just, I don't know. I wouldn't use a clothespin for anything. I use them all the time. Do you actually use them with clothes? No. They're connected to these. But they're made to like hang clothes outside, right? The original. The original. Yeah. I mean, there are, there's hundreds of them, thousands maybe even on every film set. Mm-hmm. There's so many uses. You just need to, and you can like put them on lights because they're not going to, you got to have a like light kick in to burn that thing and catch it on fire. Mm-hmm. So you just need a little thing that'll like hold a gel. Or like these curtains to the yeah. stands. Yeah, pretty tight. There's all kind of uses. You got chips. Boop. Don't waste yeah, money on chip yeah, clips. Yeah. Don't yeah, waste money true. on that crap. Yeah, you know, I got some chips right now that are struggling because I don't have Keep any. Keep them fresh yeah. longer. And on film sets, they're called C-47s. You want a little film film history? So a lot of times I have to catch myself. So I'm like, hand me that C-47. Mm-hmm. Like, what, are you, what are you talking about, crazy? I'm like, clothespin. Because for however long, that was all you, we referred to them as. Why? So the story goes... Way back in the day, okay. there was some movie, and the studio didn't want to give them all the money they wanted that they felt they needed to to make the movie. So they had to get creative. So they were like, yeah, for this scene or something, it's like we really need this really specialized piece of equipment or we're not going to be able to pull it off. They're kind of expensive. We need a bunch of C-47s. And they're like, well, how many do you need? And they're like, we need a good bit. So they ordered... A bunch of wooden normal clothespins, mm. but said it cost, you know, crazy exponentially more. So it's like, all right, we'll give you ten thousand dollars so you can buy your one thousand C forty sevens or whatever. Mm. So you buy a thousand clothespins, it's not going to cost you nearly ten thousand. No, <laughs> you just make them bank. Yeah. So now then the name that's the story, the legend. Is it true? Who's to say? So they were just Father to Phil trick them just to get some more. Money. Oh, they did trick them and they yeah. got the money. According so to the legend. Yeah, according to the legend. So C-47, if you want to feel like you're in the know in the film game, sounds, call them that. Sounds like a piece of dynamite or something. Yeah, C-4. Being explosive. Maybe that's what they were saying. C-4. Yeah, C-4. Could seven, be. Even more powerful. Right, seven times. Yeah, that's... Yeah. And then there's a thing called a C-74, where you somehow take the wire, you take the wood off of the clothespin, flip it around to where instead of... it, It's like it does something... I can't remember. Anyways... Hmm. You know, been out of the game a little while. Yeah, yeah. Uh, C-47s. 
Yeah. So just call them that if you want to be cool. Uh, and if you say that and someone's like, oh, yeah, I got you, and they hand you a clothespin, then, you know, you're in a special little club. Say you got say you got a pack of C fours. What would you do with those? Oof, buddy. What would you blow? What you? What if you could just blow some stuff up, or any anything? I'm not even gonna say stuff. Like, and you had no consequence for it. What would you? What would you blow up? No consequence. Just for one, yeah, one one time free. If there's free pass. well, here's there's two things. If there's a no consequence, obviously I'm blowing up a bank door, taking the money, the gold, but that's mm-hmm. illegal. Yeah. But say I got permission from someone who had some land to go blow up part of a mountain where mm-hmm. there's possibly gold. That's where I'd go. Uh, okay. Well, that yeah, that makes sense. I guess you're all about the the money. All about that cheddar cheese, son. Well, so well, okay. So yeah, you could do no consequence for a day. Uh huh. Yeah. So you'd blow you up just rob door. banks. Yeah. Obviously, one bank. You only get one. So it's not for the day. It's just for one explosion. One. 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 Yeah. One I'm going, pop I'm off. going to. Uh, I guess somewhere in like a Swiss bank. Swiss? That's where like everyone keeps their offshore monies in Swiss bank accounts. Mm. So I assume maybe they have more would you tangible do like a, assets Would you there. do like a Robin Hood situation, maybe? Give to the poor? Yeah. Yeah, myself. <laughs> Take the money and inject it into my bank account. <laughs> and then you and I are living large, son. Yeah. <laughs> Get a hot tub. We're on easy street after that. <laughs> Eating lobsters. Lobster, lobster bisque, covered in caviar. <laughs> Be glorious. Just butter ourselves. Every oh, day. Yeah, dude, we can get like truffle butter, whatever we want. Put mm. it in our buttholes. Who gives a shit? It's all. It's where I got all the money. Butter. Oh my god. Tell me about it. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, that'd be pretty cool. We'd all benefit. Mm-hmm. All of us too. Yeah. Maybe, well, we we'd have to give our listeners something. I feel like yeah, we would give them uh, updated studio, yeah, better gear. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, that's all they need. Yeah. What if? Do you think if somebody blew up the White House, anything would happen? Yeah, I mean, I don't think like, say the White House itself just gets blown up. Mm-hmm. Everyone survives. Yeah, business as usual is going to be pretty much the same. Mm-hmm. I would imagine there's not a whole lot of stuff that is like super sensitive to the running of the country and the free world is kept like in a non penetrable room in the in the White House. Yeah, I think it's more of a symbol. Yeah. It's a symbol of power. But then if somebody destroys that then that's a big that's a big dick move. That's yeah, that's like, uh, you're bending them over and oh my putting God. it to them. Yeah. That's a that's a big play. That is a big. Problem. I bet. Uh, I bet our FBI agents that listen to us right now are like, "Oh, oh, guys, guys, <laughs> listen! They're talking about pulling up the White House." <laughs> yeah. With C fours, C forty sevens, C forty sevens, throwing clothes, thousand C forty sevens, all at one time. You can't handle it, old ass building. What are you gonna do? Withstand clothespins? You're right. <laughs> Check your facts, bro. <laughs> Joe Biden wouldn't know. It was, he'd think it was candy raining down he and try and eat would. it. He's not okay. He's, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, FBI he's, agents. He's so, don't, don't flag he's got so many little liver spots everywhere. Yeah, he's too. not looking good, man. Uh, he can't yeah. speak. No, he can't. <laughs> 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 <That's what laughs> yeah, it's like out of all the people in the world, we couldn't get somebody that can just speak I mean, and have a normal thought, train of thought. Give it a couple years. It'll. He's going to wear him down. He's already worn, He's already on his last leg. Now you throw him into a wood chipper. <laughs> it's not gonna. It's not gonna be good. <laughs> yeah, it's kind. Of, it's kind of interesting now that he's the president, though, because it's like, hey, it seems like uh, it's just kind of like nobody really cares. Every, it's things like, nobody, are so normal now. Nobody likes him, no, or nobody really, really likes him, and nobody really, really hates him. It's just like. And he's, he's just, not doing he's like there. ludicrous things, yeah, like the past there. four years. Yeah, but like, it's, it's less entertaining. Like, whenever the hurricane happened, and where was it, Puerto Rico, and Trump showed up and was like just shooting rainbows with paper towels into the crowd. <laughs> what? Like, why should Biden not be in Texas, which is covered in snow, just like <laughs> yeah. throwing out flamethrowers, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> like, or sh- like shovel snow shovels? He probably doesn't even know what happened. No, he probably. He when he sees it on the news, he just thinks he's watching a Christmas movie. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Poor guy. 
Yeah. Good luck, you know. <laughs> Good luck to all of us, hell. Good luck living. Yeah. yeah, for everybody. Yeah, we need it. Yeah. Yeah, that's only... Um, I mean, to pull up some of these things. Sure, yeah. I mean, you can... Well, I, um, one of them can kind of lead into something that I'm sure people are probably curious about. Do the, the shout-out one. So a dear friend of mine, Alexis, sent me a text a couple days ago, um, and I got a shout-out... On, you on the local news in Miami, wow. Florida. And this is also, this will touch uh, touch your heart as well. It'll touch me? Your heart. Well, that's good enough. All right, here we go. Move this out of the way. So what is this, Miami, Fort Lauderdale? 625 on this Friday. Many Catholics are giving up something they love for Lent. Right, Eric? Yeah, a Ohio man said he'll start this religious celebration by going on a beer diet. Hmm? On Wednesday, Del Hall began his liquid diet of only beer, water, coffee, and tea. He's done this before, said he loses 40 to 50 pounds doing this during Lent, I getting all of his like main calories from beer. Yeah. He also said he has to consult with a doctor, by the way. He said it has helped him lower his cholesterol and blood pressure while doing this. <laughs> I only have, you know, three to five beers a day. It's not like I'm drinking, you know, like constantly. If you are, you know, eating your standard diet, um, it gets boring. You don't eat the same thing every day. So I definitely am not going to drink the same thing every day. Carbonated beer. In addition to his liquid diet for Lent, he does plan to use the awareness through this to raise money to help those other restaurants and bars struggling through the pandemic. Hoping to raise about $50,000 over the next 40 days. Good luck in that process. Wait, wait, wait. 40 <laughs> days with no food? Ugh. Just water, Yuck. tea, coffee, and brewskis. You he, know how oh. when, when you go to happy hour, you usually need an appetizer? By right. the way, what? By the way, he does own a brewery, so that certainly helps in the process. Uh, he says he's going to use variety, so I guess that's going to help. I, I don't still, know. I still need food, girl. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> me I can do three. it. I have a friend who actually will succeed at this. John, you know who you are. <laughs> 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 Thanks, Alexis, for the confidence. <laughs> so she happened, happened to line up perfectly. Alexis and I worked together. We were the dream team at the uh, the news station we worked at in Columbia. You know, if there was some hard-hitting shit, they sent us. Um, <laughs> so she sent me this, and it was really timely. Because so the episode we recorded, the last episode of January... You made a statement where you said, I'm going to say it now so you can't back out. Mm -hmm. We're doing the carnivore diet in February. I was like, yeah, okay, let's do it. Yeah. Next day, I come to work, and you had gone to dinner at your brother's yeah. that night, and you're like, yeah, man, I'm out. It's <laughs> <was> like, what? He's <laughs> like, yeah, I don't want to lose weight. I don't want to blah, blah, blah. I was like, dude, you just said yesterday <laughs> yeah, I didn't you, think about you were it. saying it so I wouldn't back out. Yeah. Um, so when Alexis sent me, so I still plan to do it, yeah. but the first was when we were both like in the throes of our moves, mm -hmm. so it just wasn't feasible for me to start on the first. So I ended up starting on the 9th of February and went to the car, just mm -hmm. animal products, meat, cheese, dairy, um, anything that comes from animals. And it is today as we record, it is the 22nd. I stopped on the 19th. I made it days. 10 days without yeah. anything but animal products, and I did not have my first solid shit since the 9th, or really since the 8th, until today. <laughs> so it Took three days for my body, because I've been, dude, I've been eating, I've eaten so many avocados and yeah. tomatoes. So much fiber. Bananas. I'm just, it is, it's, you, you can't even imagine how delicious that first tomato tasted that I had. Um, so today was my first solid poo-poo, <laughs> and it was glorious to so, feel that pressure mm -hmm. on my rectal walls again. Because before now, it was, dude, it was like somebody ran into a fire hydrant. That's and it's awful. Just, <laughs> That's disgusting. And it was like three times a day. I was pretty regular. Yeah. And it was like in the morning, I'd wake up and be like, oh, better go. So I don't have to wash my sheets, get to the bathroom, just spray it out. Yeah. Don't feel anything. A few hours later, oh, Better go, um, but that was every every day. Like so, it was. It was pretty regular. That's is that normal? That's not normal. Is not it? really. Like, no, um, but it's just a nightmare. Clean up was a bitch. Mm. It just wasn't fun. And I, my body by like day eight, 
my body was like, man, we're missing something. Mm-hmm. This ain't right, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so I made it 10 days. That was 10 too many, in my opinion. So you don't recommend it? Not. I think it actually is beneficial for certain people, yeah. a small amount of people. And I didn't do it where I was supplementing it with anything. Maybe if you mm-hmm. supplemented with like fiber and Maybe. that kind of thing. Um, yeah, because I, I don't heard, recommend I, the it. The diarrhea, I've heard that people have it for like the first little bit and then it stops after that. See, that's what I was thinking because it started nearly immediately. Mm. And I was like, okay, well, this is normal. Got to be day three, day four, day five. A week. I'm like, good gosh. <laughs> I mean, I was going through so much Did toilet it hurt? paper. No, because it wasn't like whenever you're ill and have diarrhea, mm-hmm. where it's just like, or yeah. like the hot chicken diarrhea, to where then I'm just rubbing my butthole yeah. off. It was just like three times a day, mm. spew it all out and clean up, which okay. is, I mean, it was an involved cleanup. Yeah. Hmm. But yeah, that was I see. Yeah, I, that sounds pretty off. That sounds just nasty. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't fun. Do did it you, if you did want. Did you feel better though? No, I, did you? You I, didn't feel any once better. Once I got into nothing? it, I started feeling bad. Well, not bad, just like not normal, and not because I mean, I guess I probably you. You said you felt less puffy. I definitely day. retained less water. Like okay. I, de- I looked better. Yeah, uh, I guess because I was starving my body <laughs> of <laughs> essential nutrients. <laughs> Yeah, because, you know, you always get up in the morning, and that's when you're, you're like, your most lean, just because mm-hmm. your body's, like, dehydrated. Yeah. Um, and then, Dry. Um, just, yeah, so in the morning, yeah, I mean, I didn't look so awful naked. Um, <laughs> still not great. <laughs> but, yeah, that was the only the only good thing. But, you know, it's I don't – I think this would be – this would be way harder. To drink just beer, coffee, and tea? Just for 10 tea? days. 10 days, no food. I – I, I wouldn't, I could, I wouldn't survive. No, you think you would survive? I'd be, you'd be just, I'd be, I'd be a shell of a person. Yeah, imagine if you lost forty or fifty pounds. I mean, I, I guarantee you, if I did that for for ten days, I would lose twenty pounds, probably. Probably. And then, then what? that first like couple of weeks, you probably drop weight like crazy your body's freaking out yeah and then after that it's probably like okay this is the new normal oh my and it God. tries to normalize you know and then you're not just getting anything you need you're just getting well he really he, he speaks liquid. to his doctor he has to be supplementing with pills I, he's gotta, gotta be. be i mean the the thing for him is he has a lot of extra weight he does to go to to back it up in there like he's not small. No, he's not like. I mean, no, he's not he's, obese. He's, but he's fat, not but he's small. not obese. Go, um, go to the shot of his face uh, without his mask. I think it's a little Did before this, maybe. He had one right there. Uh, okay, now go to uh, the Google. Okay. And Google um, Nedry from Jurassic Park. How do you spell that? Nedry? N-E-D-R-I or either Y. Ned Rye. It's probably a Y. Yeah, it is a Y. Oh, that guy? Yeah. If this isn't his son. All right, let me get a big image of it. Get it big. I'm trying, too. It just won't let me get it big. All right, that's as big as we can get, I guess. That's the same person. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it? <laughs> Just put it's a beard on him. It's pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's him. Yeah, they're the same shape for sure. They look they're the same nose, same, nose, same it face, is the, same the nose. eyes are the same. Head, it's, the how forehead, about the ears? pretty his, similar. His, his poke out a little more than. Well, he's got group. heavier glasses on. His, look at his gla- his glasses don't even touch his ear. They're not yeah, they're not even behind his ear. They're just so tight. He needs some bigger glasses. Yeah. That's probably why he got eaten. Probably he couldn't see. well, he also I mean it was raining really hard uh-huh. and Dilophosaurus uh-huh. spit on him. He looks scared here too. I think this is right before he's about to run the debug on the system and try and steal the dino embryos and make his great escape from Jurassic Park in the storm. Well, so he that, was a little nervous. That did. I'm just gonna go get, go get some snacks. I'm gonna be debugging some of the systems, so you might see some of the systems coming on and off for a little bit. It's no big deal. It's totally normal. Do you guys want any snacks or anything? That's what he said. But he was tricking. Was he tricking? He was tricking. Him. He was tricking. 
He deserved that. He was he was he was tricking him about going to get snacks. Unless he was planning to eat those dino I mean, embryos. That's, that's believable that he was going to get snacks. Yeah, because then Dr. Hammond says something about needing him and he's got butter fingers. <laughs> Samuel Jackson gets pissed when he's trying to fix the system. He's like, Look at this workstation and just pushes a bunch of candy wrappers off. <laughs> <laughs> this workstation. This is Jurassic Park is the movie I've seen the most times in my life. Hmm. One of my uh Party birthday parties in film school was a movie. You had to come as a movie character, so I came as Doctor Alan Grant from mm. uh, the Jurassic Park franchise. So you liked it even, even as a kid. Yeah, like I got yeah. the VHS when I was probably like around ten, mm. and just wore that thing out. I'm sure you um, did. I think I think mine's old school. Really? Yeah, that's a, I mean, it's a good movie. It funny. was like one of the first DVDs I had when I was like probably like fourteen or something. It was kind of kind of raunchy, kind of raunchy, yeah. and I thought it was funny, and uh, so I just kept watching. I didn't I didn't really realize there was at that time too. I didn't really realize there were so many movies out there that like you could that. watch. <laughs> yeah, so I just watched that one over and over. It's a good. That's well, a good movie. It's it funny. really is. Yeah, Frank the Tank, classic. Mm-hmm. Going to what the gym. Frank the Tank? No, he's running around nude outside. Yeah, but we're going to the... Oh, going to the... Yeah. The quad? Where quad. were they going? Was it the quad? Quad, the quad. Well, yeah. we played a game at this party where I was like, you guys give me any line in Jurassic Park, and I can give you the following line. As obscure as you want. You know every line of the movie? If I get the setup, I can pretty much get the other one 100% of the time. Oh. Back then... Yeah. I have, it's been a minute since I've seen it. You should find some trivia. Jurassic Park. Yeah, find me some Frasier trivia and I'll beat anyone. You bring anyone up here and I'll beat him in Frasier trivia. Who you know that could beat me? In, nobody. You don't know anybody who can beat me in Frasier trivia. I, I don't. I literally don't know anybody. No one does. Maybe Kelsey Grammer. He <laughs> probably not. He probably he probably doesn't know it as well as you do. But this, he doesn't go back and watch it all the you time. You don't know him. I don't know. Shut up. Do. Quit quit saying <laughs> okay. what Kelsey Grammer does and doesn't do. I don't you know, I don't care what he does and doesn't yeah, do. Yeah, you don't deserve to care. Uh, yeah, so thanks, Alexis. So shouts out right back to yeah. Alexis. Probably yeah, that's pretty probably, cool. I don't know if as many people see this shout out, but So she thinks you could do it. She does. I think You that. you could not. Well, I informed her. I was like, uh, you know, thanks for the thanks for the uh the confidence. Yeah. Definitely gonna, you know, put it on the podcast. Um, and she said, yay, only thought of you with this story. And I let her know. I was like, I actually just finished 10 days on the carnivore diet yesterday. It was awful. I've had zero solid shits in almost two weeks. She said, you're gross. <laughs> 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 I got to be honest. I'm glad I did not try it. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I, I'm glad I'm on the other side of it. I mean, I couldn't have done 20 more days. There's no I think way. No I, could way. Do, I could do, I could do paleo. I don't think. I don't know what that is. Paleo? So it's just meat with fruits and vegetables. I could do that. That's it. That's basically what you do now. You just would lose taters. Lose taters, rice, bread. See, the no bread thing, the only thing I missed about bread was sandwiches. Yeah. But I'm at a point now where I'm like, I don't really care. So I'm going to just try and not eat bread now. Bread's not good for you. No. I'm sure you're going to feel a lot better. A lot of calories. It's just just not... it's inflammatory, you know. Mm. That might have been maybe because you weren't eating bread and stuff. Maybe that's why you didn't feel as puffy. Maybe I bread makes you puffy. Well, I was eating sandwiches every day before. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Bread's not good for you. It's bad for you. Okay, I'm sorry. It makes you puffy. Well, don't be puffy. Don't eat right. bread. I'm still eating bread though. Well, Who you're not I puffy say? anyways. If I you're eat bread, a, I'm more puffy. Yeah, but you're a pretty svelte guy. Svelte? Svelte. Schwen? He thinks it's Schwen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I want to see these other ones. All right, which one you want to do? Um, Pick one, and I'll tell you what. I'll give you the setup. I just brought up the the one beside it, Heroes. Heroes, you don't expect. Oh, yeah, so I this was just some good... Um, just something to keep in mind, I think. That, you know, I, that the people need some uplifting, you know thoughts these days right okay everybody's this, a little down i gotta say i don't like any anything i don't even see the person in here i think this shelf is really weird with these teddy bear teddy bear power rangers that are mm-hmm. sitting here those are cute this got panel, the green red ranger what is happening here why is it different wood this is really bothering me 
it's different sizes of wood right here. I think that's pretty common. Is it? Yeah, because it like breaks it. it up. Yeah, I don't like it. Well, do you like the Charmander? And I think maybe that's Rocket Raccoon. Is that Char? Yeah, that's Charmander. I guess, I guess that's the best one out of the four. Char- yeah, Charmander's classic. I don't even know what Rocket Raccoon is. It's from Marvel. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, Guardians of the oh, Galaxy. Oh, Guard- okay. It's the, uh, yeah, that's what's that's his fine. name. Doesn't really look like him, but all right, let's see. Yeah, it's a teddy bear. Remember, sometimes the hero that you were expecting may not show up. But sometimes the hero that you don't expect, those ones keep them around. (laughs) (laughs) The one take wonder here, guys. (laughs) I mean, can't you relate? (laughs) Uh, Yeah, you know, sometimes you uh, You don't expect something, and then, but you. Expect something that you didn't expect. Exactly. And then... Keep them around. Keep it around. Yeah. I just felt like people needed that like, this week. Do we know this person? I don't... I don't. Who do you think it is? Is this... Is this Remember. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's him... <laughs> That's him after one more self-inflicted car accident. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he is a psychopath. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, I don't watch this one again because he made so much sense. I love this. He's Remember, like, sometimes the hero that like, you, you know, were expecting not even may not sure show about up himself. Yeah. But sometimes the hero that you don't expect. Those ones keep yeah. them around. See, <laughs> see, he was proud of himself at first. Sometimes the hero you don't ex. What? Did, I'm so I'm confused now. Sometimes it's confusing the hero times, you Kim, do why expect. Why we need people like him? Sometimes the hero you don't ex do expect. What the fuck? Did you just Remember. 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 Sometimes the hero that you were expecting. Sometimes, sometimes the, the hero, hero that you were expecting. Right. You were, say you were. In a city, your everything was colliding. You expected Superman. Man, he's may man. not show up. Yeah, it doesn't show up. Well, well, what happens now? <laughs> ah! But sometimes the hero that you don't expect, those ones keep them around. Interesting thought process. Yeah, because like the hero that you were expecting didn't show up. Right, but, but the now one you didn't expect now did you in were, his place. Now you were expecting. Now you're. <laughs> No, no, no. The no, one you were expecting is a no show. Yeah, he's not so a show. So you're just hanging out so, like, man, I hope, I hope George helps. But, but I can't Steve imagine Bobby's going to show up. <laughs> oh, he's here now, and I'm so happy. Well, it doesn't necessarily, maybe you're not around. happy right off. Because at least. Because they, they showed up. This is, maybe. Yeah. At, least at least they, they showed, showed up, up for you. At least they showed and up. And you know what? Those are the ones. Keep them around. You know, I mean, I think that's kind of a message to kids. Once you start breaking it down, it's a message for everyone. Yeah. Once you think about it, you know, it delivery's bad, visuals are not great, but yeah. the message is solid. Doesn't matter if you like them or not. Doesn't matter if they're good, bad, ugly. Doesn't matter. Yeah, if they're ugly. If they're, <laughs> if they, if they're, if they're, if they're around, and you, even though you don't want them, keep them. Keep them. Keep. Keep them around. I like it when people aggressively point at me, too. It's always Remember, nice. You'd love Harrison Ford. Sometimes the hero that you were expecting may not show up. Why does he have gloves on? Because he's the hero you don't expect. Is he the, the hero? hero that you don't expect. For who? Those ones. For love? Keep them around. No, for people that are expecting just, you know, because when you picture a hero, who do you picture? You picture Chris Hemsworth or Henry Cavill. You don't picture Marshmallow Jim here. And if he shows up with his hockey gloves on and his tank top and his bullet club club. (laughs) tank, uh, you know. Oh, look. See, we were talking about Jeep clubs. That's a Jeep club, I think. See how the skull makes the front of a Jeep with the teeth, the lights? I think that's a Jeep club. Really? Maybe. Or it might just be guns. I might get rid of my Jeep. Well, I think it's more Wranglers, unfortunately. Um 
I'm just sorry. I'm just saying. Sorry. I I don't mean that in like a sassy okay, fine. way. Fine, you can be in his God. club. I don't want to be in his club. I don't. You know. No, I, I'll t- just be Savage yeah. Twelve Crazy Man One. That's his, <laughs> if you want to find him on TikTok, that's his name. That's very rare to see a number in the middle followed by a number at the end. Well, maybe he either wanted to be Savage Twelve or Crazy Man One, but they were both so good. He was like, you know what? If you get sometimes the name you want isn't there. And then so, so get the get one it. that shows up and keep it around. Yeah, he makes sense. He's um, not good. I mean, he. At, see, at first I thought maybe he had some mental issues. You don't think he does? Uh, I mean, can I don't want to be insensitive. Can people, can a certain oh, group wow. of people have, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> can, <laughs> can those people go and get tattoos? Like, did they let him? Are you serious? Yeah, I am. <laughs> yes. I think. <laughs> he's got it. I mean, that is a pretty cool gun wing Googling tattoo it. he's got on his uh, bicep. And what do you call that? Front? Top front? They're right there? Yeah. What do you call that part of the arm? Uh, it's close to your shoulder or delt. It's the classic deltoid. tattoo spot close to where your 90% deltoid. of people get their first yeah. tattoos. That's where that I got spot. my first one. Deltoid right there. Yeah. Yeah, but there you go. I just thought that'd be good for people to hear, you know, because maybe people yeah. are going through things. I think, I think they can't get tattoos. Well, I mean, it's pretty good proof right here. <laughs> they can't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, yeah. Great yeah. guy, that Savage 12 crazy man. Is one. he, though? I mean, he seems I don't to know him spread well in positivity. I'm not, I don't know if he's. Can't yeah, fault him know. for that. Maybe he killed the hero that was supposed to show up. Well. Guess you better keep him around. With there. his bullet club and his tattoo sword. That's Gundam Wing. That's, I don't know. I remember that show as a kid, kind of. Well, he remembers maybe, it. Yeah, maybe we get no. along with him. I don't know. Probably, I mean, probably would. <sighs> Got to reload on your beers there. Reload Are you going to get here. beer? <laughs> beer. Yeah. That we it's always, good, good marketing. We always laugh about yeah, that. It's, it's hilarious. Shows and movies where they get walk up to a bar, and like I like from a stand a filmmaking standpoint, it makes sense. Now you don't have to pay anybody. Yeah, because you're not be like, hey, can I get a Mick Ultra? Because mm-hmm. Mick Ultra would be like, hey, we didn't tell you could say that. So you're like, hey, can I get a beer here? Yeah, no, and they just sense. bring you a generic beer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and almost like I've I've laughed at that for years because it's just like bartender. Or bar, you just barkeep, barkeep, one beer, beer, please. What's nice cold beer, bar winch, beer. Oh, we did, yeah, okay. We just have one beer. Oh, we here. got beer, just your standard beer, okay. Yeah, we got you right here. Here you go, <laughs> beer. So stupid. <laughs> it's, a, it's a good move, though. Beer, just show up to a bar. Hey, can I get a beer? And just continue to say beer when they ask you mm-hmm. what, what you want. I mean, they just piss in a glass. I also like it when people go, they go to a bar in like a movie or like a TV show and they just, they just point to them or something. I'm like, okay, what does that mean? Like we just, did in our movie. <laughs> At Goat Island. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, you, your line was, can I get some service here, please? <laughs> <laughs> Having now worked in the service industry, what would you do if somebody <laughs> sat down at a service. bar? You've been sitting. They they sat down over there all of none seconds. <laughs> like, can I get some service here, please? <laughs> what would you Just think? Like, What's wrong with this <laughs> child? Because <laughs> I was a child. I didn't know. Can I get some service here, please? You guys do service? <laughs> <laughs> can I get some of it or what? <laughs> How much does it cost? I'll take one service, please. <laughs> can you service me? <laughs> Service. <laughs> it's so, That's it's a good term. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't like the word. Dude, Billy so got serviced at the party last <laughs> night. God, Jessica gets, was so she wasted. She was servicing so oh, hard. Dude, she serviced half the guys there. I went home and serviced myself. <laughs> Service. A little love. self-serve pump, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Service. Get served, bro. Get served. It's not bad. You'll talk up your buddy when he's heading out to the party, scoping for some ladies. Go get mm. served, bro. Go get served. You deserve the service. And hey, listen, if the lady, Serviceable, the lady you wanted 
to get, to get served by mm. doesn't show up, but one that you didn't expect, just keep them keep around. around forever, even if you don't really like them. Yeah, marry her. Stay in, <laughs> marry her and stay in your hometown. <laughs> Never question anything. <laughs> hey, you don't have happiness, but you got two kids. Yeah, way now, to go. Now you're, yeah, yep. Man, yep. we're gonna lose some listeners. <laughs> yeah, we are. <laughs> Apparently, serviceable is not a good thing, though. Oh, that's serviceable. You said the same word there. Serviceable. Right. Yeah. But then you... It's not a good thing. Right. I'm going to Google it. Because we, we watched The Only Living Boy in, boy in New York, mm-hmm. and they were using serviceable as a bad a bad term. Mm-hmm. You, know what I, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Do you? Well, the way... You, just tell me what you're trying to say. When do you look it up? I'm saying it's not a good thing to right. call it to be. But serviceable. Ser- service. Oh, I, you see mean passable? You, I see what you're saying. Yeah, so it's just passable. Adequate. Yeah, it's Usable. adequate. It'll do. But if you want, like, good service, I guess you're putting good in front of it. Service, I guess, in itself isn't actually a good thing. Well, I don't think serviceable so much speaks to the act of service. Mm, it does. It's more of a adjective. Mm. Yeah, yeah. About something, it'll it, you know, it'll work. Operational, plain, sensible, practical. Pra- well, it can be practical. functional, utilitarian. And we're only twelve aircraft were fully serviceable this morning. That means in working order. Yeah, which is good. I mean, it's good for something to work. Yeah. Yeah. I get. Yeah, I guess it's just not extraordinary. Have the homeless tried being serviceable? That could fix the problem. You think so? Yeah, just be in working order. I just saw a sign um, the other night in downtown Greenville that says, uh, say no to panhandling. And then they had like a little uh, QR code that you could you could take a picture of and I guess donate towards something that was going to... Which is itself panhandling. Yeah. Speaking of, so <clears throat> we got the last little bit of crap out of our old house within the past week since mm-hmm. we did the last podcast, so... I picked up a nice fat load um, a few <laughs> days ago and was unloading it in my front yard. And I saw this guy walking down the street, and I could tell he Ugh. probably didn't have what I like to call a home. Yeah. And was like, should I wait for him to pass or just keep? I was like, I just want to get this done. So I kept loading yeah. it. And I just didn't acknowledge him because, um, you know, they're used to that. And as my back's turned, I hear him say, Congratulations. That's a good. That's a good opener. <laughs> yeah. I kind of want to see where this goes. <laughs> so I stopped. I'm holding a box. I was like, "Well, this will give me an out." I can be like, "All yeah. right, that doesn't matter." Yeah. He's like, "Congrat!" I was like, "What's that?" He's like, "Congratulations on buying the house I always wanted." I was like, "Well, probably doesn't narrow it down, really." I feel what? like I feel like any would probably do. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Oh, thanks, man." And I went to turn. He's like, "You gotta cut them trees." I was like, what? <laughs> it's like the trees. You need to cut them back. All of them. So I look up, and there is one branch that's p- big. I don't think it's uh, It's going to have to hit you pretty square, pretty <laughs> flush to kill you. He's like, Widowmaker. that branch, I'll go through your house. I was like, well, okay. <laughs> He's like, you got to trim them back. He's like, you know, you work so hard, and, and you, you finally get somewhere you want to be, and next thing you know, what, your baby's walking along? Branch falls, kills your baby. That's what he said. <laughs> I was like, yeah, <laughs> you, you're right. He's like, you got to trim him back. <laughs> He's like, man, I mean, you, can you imagine? If, and he kept going, just yeah. repeating, branch fall, go through your house, kill your family. He said that so at least could, three to could, four he times. He already had that story like set in, mm-hmm. which is pretty good. Yeah. I mean, but he, then he couldn't ad lib off. <laughs> just kept. I was like, yeah, you're right. I was like, and I was like, thanks. Okay, will do. Just try. I was like, all yeah. right, man. And then, um, he was like, well, listen, man. I was like, here we go. Mm-hmm. How much is this going to cost me? He was like, I, I I, just got out of prison not long ago. I was like, oh, congratulations. That's great. He's like, yeah, thanks. But, man, I haven't anything to eat today. You think you could help me? I was like, yeah, let me go grab some cash from inside. Mm-hmm. He's like, oh, thank you, man. He's like, you think I could uh, sit down? My leg, my knee is killing me. I was like, yeah, man, mm-hmm. pull, up some, pull up some steps. Go for it. So I took the box inside, grabbed like four bucks. Um, and he was just sitting there still just talking to me and he's mm-hmm. sitting like I have uh, cement steps leading up to the house 
He's like, yeah, man, if you want me to, if you buy some concrete, I can fix these steps for you. I can put it in and give it any look you want. I was like, oh, okay. Um, handing him the money. He's like, appreciate it, man. He's like, yeah, my knee's messed up. My head's always hurting because you ever, he said, you ever seen or heard about uh, people, I can't remember, I think he said a padlock. Somebody put a padlock in a sock or either a pillowcase Jesus and smacked Christ. his head in prison. And I was like, no, nah, man, that sounds pretty rough. He was like, yeah, look at this. And took his hat off, and there's just this, like. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it's it's been spot, brutalized. This spot on his head. <laughs> it couldn't grow hair Because he got beat with a padlock? God. So I'm trying not to laugh at this it's poor man's man. misfortune. <laughs> I was like, shit, man. That's rough. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, yeah. He's like, don't go to prison. I was like, that's good advice. <laughs> yeah. He said, yeah, uh, you know, uh, the best advice I can give you is stay out of prison. I was like, nope. He said, watch watch that pussy. I was like, excuse me? He said, just you watch where you put your dick. That pussy will get you in trouble. That's what got me. (laughs) I was like, oh, I'm sorry, man. (laughs) (laughs) uh, this, This girl I was with, she started fucking somebody else. Oh, no. And I got him. I, like, oh, he him? I don't know. He got him. I don't know if that means he killed him or he beat him, but he got him, and then he went to prison, and now he's on the streets. Well, he didn't kill him, then. <laughs> so there's some more good advice. He had to beat him pretty loud. Maybe he did To go him. to prison? Aggra- what, do you go to aggra- do you go to jail for aggravated assault or prison? I don't know. What am I, a lawyer? How old was he? He was probably 60s, late 60s, 65. He killed somebody. You think he killed somebody? Yeah. You think he was just banging somebody and then she was banging somebody else at like 55 and then he, he went after him and just beat him and now he's in prison for a couple years? I don't years? know. And, and no, here's the thing. he killed him. He like might have. But here's the thing too, not to generalize, but I think I've probably been lied to by homeless people. <laughs> I've yeah, heard, some, that's I've heard some pretty assessment. tall tales. <laughs> In the attempt to get a little little yeah. cash, which uh, he already That's had the he'd already gotten paid. I don't know. Maybe he was just like, "Oh, well, I'll give him some bang for his buck here." Yeah, I don't know. It's an interesting thing, but he showed you. I mean, he he showed you a a, a beating on his head. Yeah, but that could have been from could have been from it. Maybe it could have been, been from a branch, and that's why he could warns people That's about why branches. he was so worried about mm-hmm. it. But he didn't think that story was appealing. No, huh? Could have been. Now, would have been great is he would have showed me the same wound for both stories. That would have yeah. been cool. Yeah, I'm probably giving him eight bucks. <sighs> Man, I would have doubled down on my donation. That's tough. Prison, ooh, ooh. would not do well in prison. <sighs> you do good with the prison workouts, mm-hmm. but probably not good in the showers. Yeah, I would. Yeah, with that nice coiffed hair, they would. I'd probably just kill myself. They would put a slam on you, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I think Turn. that's probably what I would have to do. I'd have to, to tweet survive. myself out to survive. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just make a business out of it. Yeah. Commissary. <laughs> I'll do this for this. They call you commissary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, you get turned inside out quick. What do you think would happen to you? Nothing good. <laughs> <laughs> It's just, it's a, <laughs> it's just a rough situation. I'm sorry I'm laughing at it, but you just think about like a bunch of guys just like getting testosterone rough. up and just no females around and everybody's just, I mean, what do you do? You just work out all the time mm-hmm. so then testosterone's getting even higher and then everybody's like angry that they're in there, emotions are high. Whew. What's what what good is going to come out of that? There's got to be a better system. There might be. I don't. I don't know it. Whew. I don't. I don't even like thinking about it. Take their Game Boys away for a week. <sighs> their Game Boys, yeah. And no internet for a month. That'll get them. No internet. No cell phone. That'll yeah. show. No cell phone. No internet. Mm-hmm. Or maybe you just. I don't know. Maybe put people. Yeah. I don't know. I really don't know. I don't want to get off. You don't want to get off. I don't want to get off. Not in prison. <laughs> People would get off on you. 
in you, in me, around me, above me, Next below me, <laughs> on you and your friend. <laughs> Yeah, well, I hope he's I hope he's adjusting to I don't I don't know his whole story, but ma- maybe he was in prison twenty years ago. Maybe I don't know. There's no yeah, there's no tell. Time's relative. That could be just getting out to him. Yeah, who knows? I mean, I hope he enjoyed you know whatever whatever drinks he bought with my money. Yeah, I mean that's the, I don't if I if I give a homeless person money, I'm not like you don't need to tell me you need food and stuff. I don't I don't care. Like I'm gonna if I give you stuff like. If you want to get alcohol, just just be honest with me. I don't really care. I don't care if you're honest or not. It, for me, and this is this is just how I operate when it comes yeah. to, and I'm sure you probably dealt with a lot of homeless people in Minneapolis. Mm-hmm. I dealt with a dick load in New York. Um, there was this one that lived on my street who was a very nice man, um, and then after a while I didn't see him anymore, and I still wonder if he's alive, if he should survive. Yeah. But anyways, it all depends on, A, the approach, Mm-hmm. And B, well, B, I mean, I guess A, do I have cash in my pocket? Um, yeah. B, the approach, and C, if, you know, if it's entertaining. Yeah. <clears throat> I just, I can't, see, that's the, I've been approached for the past couple of days, actually, and it was like, I just, I, I, I can't, I don't want to ignore. I hate that. Like, I, I can't, I can't just ignore them because they're people and they, they're saying something to me. It did not That's a stretch, but go on. It's just I don't know. I feel so I get so anxious and I feel so bad about the whole situation because I usually don't keep any cash or money on me at all, so I don't have anything to give them, and I don't really want to anyway. But then part of me feels like, oh well, you can just give a little bit; doesn't matter. But then I feel like I have to engage at the same time, and then once I engage, they start talking, and then you hear the whole story, and then I'm thinking too, like. Are they? Is this real? Are they making this up? Like, what's happening? I'm sure they're going through a lot of bad stuff, and it's just like a whole. It's like I'm just sitting there pumping gas, and I'm just thinking about whatever. And then all of a sudden, this hurricane comes upon me, and I feel swept up in it for the next five minutes, and my life is just chaos, <laughs> and I hate it. You go through a lot. I do go through a lot. I don't like. I don't. It's not good for me. I don't enjoy the whole the whole process. I don't, and I don't know what the solution is. I so. I think I got a. I think I've talked about before the homeless documentary we did in film school. Heard from a yeah. bunch of different homeless people that ninety nine percent of them put themselves in those situations. It was bad choices on their part. Yeah. They screwed over their whole family. Got rid of all their lifelines because they kept screwing them over Mm. and then living in new york for two years it's constant you see them everywhere and you feel like maybe you build up some sort of a bullshit meter and you can tell which ones are being genuine which ones i mean i was i was just about as broke as them when i was in new york um so now luckily some of that thick skin from homeless people is still built up to where you kind of like i said i'll i'll give i mean i got a little more cash to throw around these days than i did then yeah. so i'm fine you know throwing a few bucks like you're saying i don't care what you do with it like you you i get to go home at night if you want to get drunk yeah to fall asleep better on a street fine. get drunk you want to get meth whatever i don't care what you do with it yeah just be entertaining when you approach and don't be mean and i'll probably give you yeah, money don't be mean like i had yes. i went to target the other day and was in the parking lot, cranking up my car, and then someone's knocking on my window. She didn't look homeless, but then she started, she's like, sorry, and she scared me, because I didn't know, I, she's like a mouse, mm. knocking on my window, I was like, oh, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to scare you, oh, listen, uh, I, was, I was trying to call you over there, but I had these masks, I, maybe you couldn't hear me, <laughs> and yeah. I immediately, I'm like, okay, you're full of shit. Yeah, I'm like so. I just I've like with you. You say you, they start telling the whole story and mm-hmm. you get swept up. I knew that was about to happen, so I just said, "Okay, what's up?" Mm-hmm. So she cut to the chase. She's like, "My mom, she's on, she's 90." I was like, "All right, let me give you some change. I don't have any cash, but I can give you change because I keep a <laughs> cup of change in my car <laughs> for these situations." Yeah, I'll just scoop a little bit. I was like, "This is all I got. It's not all I got. This is all I got." <laughs> I'm like, "Good luck." She's like, "Oh, you're so sweet." I was like, "All right, see ya." Mm. Just give them, you know, just get in and out. Yeah, if you're going to yeah, give yeah. them money, let them know. If not, just be like, I don't have any cash. Good luck. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. then you're gone. 
Then yeah. you still engage them. You acknowledge their existence. Yeah, you engage. But you don't have to listen to... Unless, like I said, this guy, I was planning to just ignore him and walk yeah. in the house, but he said, congratulations. I was like, mm, you got me. Yeah. This sounds he like it's going to be fun. So then you were down the and then, and then yeah. I And then it was an enjoyable one. Mm. He's telling me about branches, killing my babies, <laughs> look out for pussy, the whole thing. And it was an enjoyable thing. And I felt lock. like $4 was a fair price for the show I got. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yes, but a price. <laughs> the lady that scared me and yeah. then started bullshitting me, she got pocket change. Yeah. And that's what she that's she gave me a pocket change performance. Mm. And that's what you're gonna get paid. <laughs> yeah. You wanna start getting into that yeah. green lady? You gotta do better. Yeah, I, I mean work on it. You I know, guess. I don't care about your dying mom. I, show me her. Let me see it. Show me your mom. Yeah, if she looks I'm really scared, sick, don't. maybe I'll give you a couple bucks. Yeah. But for this poor you know, worn out, mm-hmm. played out performance. You're getting pocket change, yeah, yeah, and that's all you deserve. You're a pocket change peddler. Well, yeah, at least, yeah. You, I feel like you got to. For me, you got to engage. Like I did. Like the other night, I was pumping my gas. This guy came up, called me. Uh, he, he said, "Hey, young man." That's how, he made me feel pretty good about that because I'm feeling pretty old lately. <laughs> Um, so <laughs> yeah, you're looking awful. <laughs> yeah. So I, he was being, he told me he hadn't had a home in a while. It was cold. So I had like 50 cents that I gave him. And then I saw him go over to like some guy was walking out of the gas station and walking to his car. And he was trying to engage that guy. Mm-hmm. And he was trying to talk to him. And the guy wouldn't even look at him. He just kept walking. It's a good move. I didn't like it though. I, See, like, I love that's a good even, move. He's a person. Just say something to he him. He is a person, but a lot of the time, they're lying to you. I mean, yeah, a lot of the time. But Are liars this, people? This guy didn't seem like he was lying, but well, and see, that's another thing. Like I, the sob stories don't get me. Yeah, I don't. It's like everybody I, has shit going yeah, on. It's like that, just tell me when, when you yeah. like the other guy when he just like he went on this whole thing, a whole fun conversation. Yeah, I'm more than happy to give. You know, you're gonna go entertain some other people, maybe. But like, uh, my mother's done. Okay, what yeah. uh, what do you want me to do? She's ninety. Yeah. She's okay. If this yeah. doesn't take her out, she's she's on borrowed time as it is, yeah. ma'am. You should be thanking whatever it is you look to yeah. that she's around at ninety. Don't lead with ninety. <laughs> Tell me she's seventy five and she needs this to. Ma- yeah. I don't care if she's okay. So yeah, I'm sorry, maybe. your mother, who's now a bag of dirt, is almost on the way out. Sorry. Yeah. yeah maybe their approach should be like, oh yeah, I'm fucking miserable. <laughs> I, I just want to do some coke. I like, would give just that so person, I can feel okay for an hour. <laughs> I would give them a yeah. twenty dollar. W- <laughs> honestly, I would. Too. I swear, yeah, I swear to God, uh, a twenty dollar okay. bill. I I feel if I am ever in your position, I would probably feel that same way. And you were being, yeah. Here you go. Do a fat line for me. Yeah. And you scream John when it goes up your nose into your brain. <laughs> yeah. And we've got a deal. That's the way to do it. That maybe that should be the approach. That's see, that is maybe, that's a good maybe approach. Maybe for the general public though, it's not the best. Maybe for us it's the best. That would be well, the best. Well, you just look for younger people. Yeah. I may yeah. I think maybe mo well, I don't know. I think most younger people, everyone our age, a few years older and definitely younger, would be like I got you. It's possible. I feel like we live in an echo chamber sometimes of the people of the people we're around. I feel like a lot of people don't don't agree with the drugs way we think and alcohol. Yeah. I think maybe you're basing that off some other echo chamber you're a part of. I'm not a part of any other echo chamber. <laughs> Listen, if you need twenty dollars for cocaine, I am more than happy to help you out. That goes for anybody. Honestly, yeah. If you contact me and say, "Man, I'm really, <laughs> I'm really down. I need some cocaine." We're gonna right get now. so many Venmo requests. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you're reaching out and that's what you need, it's clearly. I, bu- I believe you, <laughs> especially if you like never hear from. It's a yeah. friend from like way back. Like, listen, yeah. man. I know I haven't spoken to you in a while, <laughs> but I gotta get some freaking coke in my face. <laughs> Stat. <laughs> I'm like, I got you, buddy. <laughs> it's a good it's approach. That cash out for a lot of things. <laughs> Homeless people, friends, family. Yeah, everything. No. I don't. Yeah, I'm my brother asking <laughs> for coke. If my brother did, oh. I'd be like, Jesus! All right, here you go. <laughs> that would be a a curveball, <laughs> wouldn't yeah, it? That would, be, that would literally change my entire <laughs> existence. <laughs> what do you think the most you've given to a homeless was? 
I gave somebody twenty dollars once. Twenty? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Cash money? Yeah, yeah. Twenty dollar bill. Mm-hmm. Twenty you got a twenty dollar bill on you? Had a twenty had a twenty dollar bill and then I didn't have a twenty dollar bill after I gave it. Wow, big dick in the locker room, you just roll around with twenties all the time? Jesus <laughs> Christ. How do I get how do I get to be friends with you? Take me that, out on a date. Will you take got, me out on a date? <laughs> sure. Money bags? Yeah. Jerry money bags? Yeah, I'll take you out on a date. Where you where, where you, where you take a me? red Sounds lobster? Like you go take me anywhere with twenty dollar bills just falling out of your take pocket. You a red lobster. I would love that. You know how many cheddar bay biscuits nice I can Buttery see hands. <sighs> Watch the lobsters die. Truffle butter. Mm. How how good would cheddar bay truffle butter be? <sighs> that would be <laughs> That's a game. Ch- if there's ever I'd been a, come. that would be a, yeah, you'd immediately just orgasm, right? Mm-hmm. Cheddar I, Bay truffle you, butter. You love Cheddar Bay biscuits, right? Yeah. I watched, I'll send you, I watched the video the other night on how to make them at home. Okay. And they look, oh my God, they look so good. Be so good. See, Red Lobster sells the mix themselves. They do. I don't believe any at home biscuit will ever, a Cheddar Bay will ever be as good as if you sit down in Red Lobster, surrounded by the nautical direct decorations, <laughs> walk past the lobster tank, like, <laughs> you're going to die. I see. I and and you just slam them cheddar When's the biscuits. last time you did that, though? It was in Columbia. Because, see, my dad is a sucker for endless shrimp because all of us are suckers for it, honestly, because that shrimp scampi, which is just garlic and butter, mm. and then you dip a Cheddar Bay biscuit in that? <laughs> Jesus. That is... That is There's so much... There, they use the most butter out of any, everywhere, any place, everywhere, right? Uh, no, everywhere. Everywhere? But if you ever read Kitchen Confidential, it, you, when you go out to eat, the amount of butter you <laughs> consume, you wouldn't believe it. The amount of butter <laughs> in like actual kitchens yeah. is bananas. Well, the floors are like... You can just... They're like banana oh, peels yeah, that, at the end. Though. At Red Lobster, they have to wear cleats. <laughs> <laughs> Just to trudge through it. Not only slipper. <laughs> Wearing golf but shoes. <laughs> but you dip a Cheddar Bay biscuit <laughs> in shrimp, shrimp scampi. I can't, I can't even <laughs> speak thinking about how good it is. You dip Cheddar Bay biscuits in shrimp scampi butter. That's the closest you're going to come. That Like that to not come, That's but come to, to like come. see it. To seeing the Big Bang happen, like you take that. Oh, God, it is good. <laughs> Have you? You've never done it. The la- I was the last time I was in a Red Lobster. I was probably fifteen. Or was 16. it endless shrimp? <laughs> you've you ever had Red Lobster shrimp scampi? Dude, I was like fifteen. Okay. I do not know. After we I do Chili's no and the other place on our list, we gotta find out when endless shrimp <laughs> is, so I can I can show you what the birth of the universe looked like. Dude, I mean, there's got to be. I told you I tried to go to the Outback the other night. Right, you tried. I tried. I was it fill up? What? There was an hour and a half wait for Outback. Outback. Is, that blooming onion dude is <laughs> sick. That's a good. That's a good app. Apparently, yeah, they Outback is still killing it, man. They yeah, play. I, I don't. I don't think Applebee's is like that. I right. think you could probably still get in. Applebee's, you're going more for drink specials, I think, uh, and chilies. Yeah. I, yeah, I don't know. Not the microwave food. Ugh, yeah, supposedly out. Yeah, I don't know. Red Lobster. I don't know what I think about it. To be honest, listen. When you go to Red Lobster, you put your name on the dotted line because Red Lobster's everywhere. Mm-hmm. Oceans are not, so you know the seafood you're getting is not fresh out the ocean, which isn't mm-hmm. always the best option for seafood. Contrary to popular belief, some seafood, like the. The man who's like the greatest sushi guy ever, mm-hmm. he freezes his fish. People are like, oh, the sushi's so bright. That's not when it's the best. So, but it all depends. But anyways, yeah. you know, Red Lobster, we're, we're in a good place. We're in South Carolina. We can drive to the coast in half a day, no matter where you Charleston. are, pretty much. So, but does that, is that where Red Lobster seafood's? Probably not. No. They don't Probably locally, they China. don't locally source their <laughs> seafood. China. Coming from China, it probably is Chinese shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna miss them? I do. But it's, it was wild. Wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah we're, we got we got to go to Red Lobster, so you can when an endless shrimp is going on because you you get that first and see they try and trick you. <laughs> my dad's got to move when we go. <laughs> Here's my dad's move, so you can yeah. adopt this. Those of you listening at home, because like you get like you're there for the shrimp scampi. Mm. Let's be honest. 
Um, so it's like, you know, boiled shrimp or whatever in tail still on in the garlic butter and you just pop in your mouth. Oh my God. You pop off. Yeah. You're hard immediately. Yeah. Okay. Um, or wet. Hard or wet. Both sometimes. Um, and then you, as soon as it comes out, my dad's like, can you go ahead and put another mm-hmm. shrimp scampi order in for me? And they're like, oh, he's like, no, just go ahead and do it. They do it. Your first shrimp scampi bowl is like that. That was tiny. Your second one is about a third less. Oh, so as soon as it comes out, yeah. my dad's already through the big bowl. He's like, let me go ahead and get another one of these. <laughs> my dad's on that pre-order schedule. <laughs> And then they we're do like, try to get you. They want to give you the the smallest amount mm-hmm. possible. And right? the move is they'll wait a little bit. Like you know it's ready, mm-hmm. but they'll wait because it takes your stomach a little while to feel full. So they're like, oh, well, let me give you some more biscuits. Are Fill up on serious? the bread. Yeah, they'll wait. So you start. Why feeling do it? Just full. why not just do a bigger bowl of it? Because it's that business, son. They're doing business. They're out here to make money, not make you happy. Yeah. They want to make you happy for the least amount of money. Yeah, I see what you're saying. That's I'm going to have an issue with that. I'm, issue? I'm not going to go with that. I remember one time when I was like maybe 13, 14, 15, Applebee's had the endless riblets. What's a riblet? I, it's not real. It's supposed to be just the rib meat of a rib in like okay. some weird form. Kind of like the McRib. The McRib. From, yeah, kind of like that. And so I got it, and I finished the first one. And then I was like, hey, can I get another one? Because it's endless. And then uh, it maybe took 30 minutes. They're so I'm just sitting there full. just waiting to get another one. And they bring out a little bit more. And then I finish that. And it's like, this is annoying. I don't want to do all this. I just want like one substantial thing. Can I just have that, please? And they don't want to give it to you. It's a game. It's business. It's a little cat and mouse game you're playing the whole time. And I don't want to do it. I'm not doing it. That's corporate, son. I don't like it. Just give a bigger bowl. They give you the big first serving. Is it that big though? The all the endless shrimps we went to, we it was a much smaller bowl. The second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth round. How big was that? How many shrimp did you get in the first one though? You like probably get many? about a dozen. A dozen? Mm-hmm. That's and then you're getting good, I guess. between maybe it's maybe it's twelve to fifteen shrimp in the first one. And then you're getting like eight in the second ones, and the third, and the fourth, and fifth. So. But again. Name of the game is getting you eat the shrimp to get to that butter, so you can put your cheddar bays in there. <laughs> Shrimp's great, but that cheddar bay biscuit. So dude. you is that endless too? The biscuits? Yeah, endless biscuits. Jesus Christ! Now I don't count bread that places bring you. Like Outback brings you the brown yeah. bread. Red Lobster brings you cheddar mm-hmm. bay biscuits. I don't count that as an appetizer. That's the bread, right? I, yeah, it's a lot of food. Most iconic appetizer is the blooming onion. Yeah, it's del- yeah, it's delicious. It's huge. It's big. That sauce. Mm-hmm. That's you need you need at least four people to finish that. I feel like I guess two could finish. One. You're looking at one person that could finish <laughs> a blooming onion. <laughs> <laughs> you give me enough enough of that sauce. But you're eating the whole blooming onion, and then you're eating an entree too with that. I could. And the bread. Odds are, I'll have a piece of bread. That's I America, like bread. I guess. I like the bread. I probably won't finish the entree. I'll ask for a box. Mm, okay. If I go to Outback, I'm there for that piping hot blooming onion. I'm going to burn See, my mouth on it. This is why, like, we've been talking about, like, the, what is it What is it called? The chain restaurant things. Mm-hmm. That's why I wanted to go to Outback, because in my mind, that's the best one. Because they have that seasoning. Whatever that season, they put it in the blooming onion. They put it in their wings. They put it in their steak. They put Outback it in their chicken. Outback has wings? Uh, chup, uh, chup, Chupacabra. Chupacabra? Chupa burger. Wing something. Some kind of wing. Chupa That's something. Mexi- the, me- the chupacabra is the Mexican thing that eats know, the goat. No, it's not chupacabra. It's like chupacabra. Alice, Alice Springs chicken? Ch- chukaburra. Something like that. Chukaburra wings. Chukaburra? That's just what they call them. It's just a wing. It's a wing with their special. Chuka- is the so- is this seasoning chukaburra? They're, see, they're dry rubbed. So they don't have all that sauce on them. They're dry rubbed. So they have that special Outback seasoning that they put on everything else. Blooming onion. And that's what they have. And in my mind, I haven't had it probably since I was 17. 18. Outback? You haven't yeah. been Outback since you were 17? Something like that. Yeah. Like late teens. <laughs> but in my mind, it's just like this magical dust that they just put. Right. They just coat the whole place in it. 
And I just, I remember it being so good. And so I want to go back and try it. Now, is it possible your pure teen mind to cuisine just didn't know? 100%. So do you want to go? Like there are movies I remember loving as a kid that I'll never watch again, so I don't ruin them because mm-hmm. I've done it too many times. I want to go. I want to see if it's real. Look or up not. the seasoning. See what see what people and people people put recipes. Oh, you've stuff. tried just, to recreate? I have, no, I haven't tried to recreate. But it's I just I want to go and try it just to see if it's if it's real. Then will you try and recreate if you like it? Yeah, 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 definitely. I don't think, I don't think it's gonna be as good. <laughs> like Cheddar Bay biscuits at home, not as good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, got one more video for you. Oh yeah, you do. Um. So this is another leaked video. That leaked leaked video that we got lucky enough to be sent to us oh by some very special people. Okay. We got another one of the villains TikTok. from the new. You been, uh, have you been on TikTok a lot recently? Yeah. Another one of the villains from the new Jason Bourne movie. Oh crap. Okay. Ready. Mm-hmm. What's that? Can I snap it? Uh, sure. Mm. Look at these moves. I hate him. So this is apparently a scene. I hate him so this much. <laughs> this is apparently a scene of of uh, the new villain picking which knife he's going to kill Jason Bourne with. And you hear what he said? He said, can I snap it? Can I snap it? And the, the guy selling the knife was like, what? <laughs> and he's like, oh, I'm dealing with an idiot. Can I open it? That, That's what can I, I snap it? I was just looking. Here, start it up, start it up. Start I, start I start heard start it. Start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was talking. Can I snap it? Uh, sure. It's difficult. Whoa. Tempting, yeah, it's crazy, man. Tempting, yeah, it's crazy, man. Pretty tempting, yeah. That dude would dice you. Into some freedom he would prize, not. my friend. He would. I would dice. annihilate no, this guy. No, you would. This think guy he would. is a chump. You know what some of the comments were? Because this video went viral a while back, and it, I've I've watched it so many. I don't know why it's so like aesthetically pleasing to me to watch him snap it open and yeah. then just go. <laughs> and people are so, like, because then you have these people in the comments who are obviously like him. Like some people are like you. It's like, oh look at this idiot. Yeah. Oh, who gave this retard a knife? <laughs> but then other people are like, oh, really? Retard? You know what he's doing? He just slit both your wrists. That's what that move is. So I've watched it over and over with that comment in mind. I was like, he's not hitting wrists. <laughs> <laughs> Play it again. So for, hang on. For those of you who are just listening, there is a man in a digital camo jacket in a knife gun <laughs> shop, and he, he's holding... Okay. He's holding because deers and animals see a digital now. because these people know they're in the matrix. Yeah. So he's holding a pocket knife that flips open, and he and the the guy working at the shop. I don't know if he has a GoPro on his chest, but he's filming this this you know yeah. patron. And the guy says he must have been doing stuff before. Well, apparently he does this a lot. Like yeah. that's his channel is he films in his shop or whatever. Oh, and okay. so the guy is like, "Can I snap it?" He's like, "Huh?" He's like, "Can, can I open it?" Snapping. And the guy's like, uh, sure, because I guess he's never heard <laughs> some lunatic say, can I <laughs> snap <laughs> it, <laughs> holding a knife. So the guy like preps himself and whoosh, pops the blade mm-hmm. out and then kind of looks at it and he goes, whoosh, whoosh, swishes it around really tight in his hands and he kind of looks at the blade again and then switches yeah. it around again. And then he's like, wow, it's <laughs> <laughs> a lot cool. of knife for 15 bucks. Crazy, man. So that's what's going on. So now watch it again and try and imagine where in the world. Okay. What a yeah. what are you reaching for? <laughs> and B how would your yeah. wrists be All aligned right, that he good. slits both your wrists? Uh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I know what he's doing. He's doing uh what, what was the game? The Nintendo sixty four game. Duck hunt? Turok. Turok, he's doing the, Turok. the, the dino, yeah, killing the dino. Game. He he's he has no idea what he's doing. He's just like, now let's. What be, would the, he hit? What would he hit? He's he's well, closer the blade, to himself. The blade's pointed at himself. He's the whole closer. Time. That's what I'm saying. He's closer to himself yeah. than anything else. He's, oh, he's in danger slit wrist? from himself. Okay. <laughs> Maybe it's like if some guy's trying to jerk you off in prison. God, they already got a hold of your dick, and that's how you slit their wrist. <laughs> 
imagine this being your life? Yeah. Like, where you think this is cool. And you like, know, he we, thinks he, I guess he's getting, he thinks he's cool by doing this, but he's also trying to impress other people. Like he's trying to impress this guy behind the counter. Why? Why? What is this doing for you? Now, I I actually do wonder, is he trying to prep, or is he literally, is this like in his mind, because obviously he's like a prepper, a gun nut, yeah. you know, I'm sure like he's, he's got, so delusional. he's got at least two concealed weapon weapons on him here. Yeah. I would guess more. Definitely one on his ankle, one on his hip, probably somewhere else. So he's just looking for a new everyday carry knife, and he's got, yeah. A, he has to know he can snap it. Yeah, he's B, not. has to then know how it right. feels in his hand. C, knows how many wrists he can flay with this thing. <laughs> And he's not, pretty impressed for that night, fifteen bucks. He's not living in reality. the 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 funniest thing about all this is he has no idea what he's doing. Like any normal person that is somewhat athletic could handle him pretty easy, even if he had fifty guns and fifty <laughs> knives on him. Like he would do nothing. What would he do? Beat you in a snap comp. <laughs> yeah. play, like, it, play it again. Oh I love this God. video. I'm obsessed okay. with this video. Okay, snap it. Okay. Snap it. It's a good snap. You got to do That with this first move. Hold on. This first move. He doesn't even do anything. What is that? <laughs> He's just warming up his forearms. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, and then some people, now some people in the comments, there's a debate also that goes on with this video. Listen, I'm all about this video. I've watched it I'm hating dozens of times. People think he said, well, that's a lot of knife for 1500 bucks. Play it again. I, yeah, I don't know. People think he says fifteen hundred, and it does kind of sound like. Uh, sure. Let me cut it up. Sounds like fifteen hundred. Really does on that one. Fifteen hundred bucks for this video's night. got layers, my friend, like a blooming onion, just opening up. <laughs> Chupa burrow wings. Chupa onion. It, it, keep him around. I don't want to keep this guy around. I don't want to keep the other guy around either. I'm going to be honest. Neither I don't one keep of them. either one of them around. Keep Alexis around? I hate him. Yeah. Alexis, yeah. That's fine. <laughs> oh, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> hate them. Hate. I, God, I don't like this guy. I don't know why he's making me mad. I love this guy. I don't like him. I, I, he, I can, he reminds me of somebody from a cup, two guys from high school. That I did not care for, and I will not say their name. Th- right now. This is a lot of guys we went to school with. Yeah, now one, we're in a few. One, one in particular, but is he in the grade above me? Yeah. Okay, I know exactly what you're talking about. Nothing. Well, there was two of them. One of them couldn't make it because <laughs> he was. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he put the the row before the tund. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but if he's there, yeah, hell yeah, brother. Like um, all right. Good day. This has been a good. This has been, <laughs> this has been fun. I had a lot of fun today. Yeah, some good TikToks <laughs> that made me feel really good. Yeah. I feel like this was a super silly one, and I really mm. enjoyed it. <laughs> Sometimes we get so serious, you know. Yeah, we get. <laughs> I feel like we stopped being serious back in episode 40. <laughs> what are we on? <laughs> like 120. Yeah. It's so super serial. Um, all right. Well, uh, shouts out to uh, Savage 12, Crazy Man 1. God, I remembered it. That's pr- I'm, He's had an impact on your life. Yeah, I guess he did. Um, not shout. I, I like that guy more than that guy. I'm not shouting out that guy. Not going to do that. Shouts out to Alexis for shouting you out in the in the video um not shouts out to carnivore diet because uh Oof. didn't seem very good no i felt bad um shouts out to yeah i don't want to do it i'm gonna say i guess i'll say cheddar bay biscuits i don't want to do red lobster but i will say the cheddar bay biscuits are good it Before, don't argue with well, my shouts I, I out. just have one what question. Is I just have one question. What? Is the reason you're not shouting out? I don't know. I don't know if it's good or not. I, I don't think know how I, I feel about it. Oh, I don't okay. like. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about well, it. Well, what were you about to say? You didn't like the lobster. Okay, that's that makes sense. Yeah, I don't. I don't know how out, I feel you'll about shout that. You'll shout out Outback or wherever 
Because you don't have to see the cow. I don't. You, yeah, you're 100% right. We are so disconnected from that that I do not have to see it. And does it, you don't get the claws and stuff. It's not part of it. So you won't eat lobster. I will. As long as you don't see it alive. Yeah. D- dude, I, if I think about meat too much, I struggle. I can't think about it. And I think that's what most people do. You have to be disconnected from it. I don't like that. It's going to be hard for me to shout you out this week, but I'm going to do it. Okay. Well, shouts out to you, <laughs> even though you question me. I question your brain and your thought um, process, not you. I always believe in you. Th- well, thank you. I appreciate that, even though I don't believe in myself. Well, one of us has got to. So <laughs> I'm, I'm willing to take that bullet. <laughs> um, shouts out to any uh, homeless. No, I don't want to. Sh- shouts out to you guys. Uh, thanks for listening. Uh, continue to do that. If you like it, uh, share it with your friends, your family, uh, your significant others, just whoever whoever you like and whoever you think that would like this. Um, yeah, that's all I got. That's a good point, Jerry. Um, shouts out you, man. Love you to death. Mean it. Um, I will shouts out entertaining homeless people. Yeah. Uh, yeah. To any of you homeless out there listening to this, quit talking about your... 90 year old mother yeah, like, I don't okay. care she's gonna she's gonna be dead I don't care like you had a lot of time with her mm-hmm. so okay I don't care that she's 90 and dying she she's past due um yeah. I will shout out Red Lobster and Outback and you know I shout out any barbecue place that puts a pig on the sign any steakhouse that puts a cow on the sign show me the animal <laughs> Show me what they look like. What yeah. what their stage before I get to enjoy <laughs> their flesh. Show me. I love yeah. it. Some people have problems when a pig is the is the the mascot of a barbecue place. It's like, oh, it's kind of weird. No, it's not. I, mean, I it want that. Sense. I want that. I want to see the animal. Yeah. Chick fil A. You know, Chick fil A's got questionable ethics and everything. So they put a cow. That you know, the one place that has questionable ethics, they do the opposite. Yeah. What does that tell you? That's a good point. Um. It's not even questionable ethics. Their ethics are bullshit. Um, yes, yeah. <laughs> Chick Fil A hates the gays. Uh, shout so shouts out to their flavors, but not their management. You gotta have some good chicken to openly just hate gay people. Dude. Be closed <clears throat> on Sundays and still be just killing. One of the funniest TikToks I've ever seen was this gay guy. Uh, did an intro. He's like, I have sworn I've never eaten Chick Fil A. Mm-hmm. He's like, but you know, you guys have been asked for. I'm gonna try. <laughs> and he is gay. gay. Like he's <laughs> yeah. really gay. And he goes through the drive through. He orders his chicken. I can't remember what if he got a sandwich or nuggets. But he took that first mm-hmm. bite and he was like, Chick Fil A. <laughs> <laughs> You son of a bitch, <laughs> Chick Fil A. So He's like, this so is really good. good. The chicken's good, man. It's delicious. They don't. Man. I mean, they don't make it with hate. Is, of, I think they. I think that's the thing. Like, when things are made with love by like your family, you can taste it. Yeah. But I think when things are made with like homophobic hate, that they, must taste good too. Maybe. Yeah. Because there's pa- it's passion. Yeah. Pa- it's passion, passion about something. <laughs> there's passion. And I think yeah. that's the thing a lot of people lack is passion. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, I don't agree with their passion, <laughs> but damn if it doesn't taste good. Yeah, you can't um, argue with that. Shouts out Passionate Cooking. Mm-hmm. Um, shouts out Alexis. Thank you for your believing in me. You make the total one. Um, yeah. Email us. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we DM enjoy us all that. on the socials. What are we talking about? Any, what, are, what do you guys think about Cheddar Bay Biscuits? Sure, anything. Yeah. yeah, anything. Homeless what anything? people. Corn? Yeah, corn, I guess. Lobsters. <laughs> Blobsters. <laughs> All right. Thanks, everybody. All right, Bye. See you guys.